Welcome back to Tree Walker's Twigs, your dose of nature, inspiration, and homesteading wisdom. As the hues of autumn paint our world, there's a sense of urgency in the air that raced against winter. Every year as those days grow shorter, we look at our to-do list, and it seems like the pile of projects has mysteriously grown. Today, we're diving into tackling that pile and embracing the beauty of preparation. Remember, it's not about the looming cold. It's about the warmth we create in our homes and hearts by getting ready. Here's a little story. I once left my wood pile until the last minute. That first snowfall, I found myself scrambling. It taught me the beauty of preparation and the comfort it brings. Now, truthfully, that story's made up. But you put any number of the projects in its place, and that's the truth. You know, like these chicken coops. I'm putting them off, putting them off, and now I'm scrambling to try to get everything done and everything good and ready to go till you know before the first snow hits, so that it's done. But I can still do this when the snow hits. It'd just be nice to have it done before so I can stay into my nice warm house. How do you prioritize? Start with the essentials. You know, if it happens to be that you heat your home with something other than, you know, like, say, electric or gas, ensure that your heat source, whether it's firewood or alternative methods, is ready. A warm home is the foundation of winter well-being. That's the truth. You know, coming home to something uh, cold and that, that's no fun, no fun at all. Next, let's look at your garden. Harvesting, canning, and storing should be in full swing, if not kind of heading downwards now. And while you're at it, why not share? Trade excess produce with neighbors. It lightens the load and builds community bonds. Plus, you might be able to trade for something that you have, but didn't grow very well in your garden. Research from the University of British Columbia fancy, found that planning and preparation, especially in our community settings, can significantly reduce stress and anxiety. So band together, help out your neighbors, and let them help you. While physical preparations are crucial, there's also emotional preparation. Embrace the seasonal shift. Enjoy those last sunny days. Relish the crunch of leaves underfoot and remember, each season has its rhythm. Lastly, remember that sometimes it's okay not getting to everything. Nature itself is cyclic, with moments of bursts and moments of rest. Prioritize, do your best, and then cozy up knowing you did what you could. Nature prepares animals, gather, and we, in our essence, are part of that rhythm. We align with nature's ebb and flow. Preparation becomes less of a chore and more of a dance with time. As we wrap up today's episode, my wish for you is warmth, preparedness, and joy in the little things. On the next Tree Walker's Twigs, we'll journey deeper into the embrace of nature. Until then, happy homesteading.